everyone. Welcome back to the Mighty Jungle. My name is Miss Elizabeth, and I am so excited because I am going to help you explore God's Word to find out all about His faithfulness. Hi, explorers. My name is Miss Natalie, and I will be your guide for today. Friends, this month we are learning that God is in control. He is faithful to those who follow Him. And I have another story for you today that shows us all about God's faithfulness. But first, we need to say hello. I was singing a song about Noah, but I already forgot what he did. Oh, well then, do you want to stay for our story? I would love to stay and listen. Hopefully I can remember how the rest of the story goes. Well, I can help you with that, Elliot. So, our story for today starts a long time ago, right after God had made the world. You see, friends, things weren't going very well. The people had forgotten about God. They were making bad choices, and the Bible says that and wickedness that God wanted to start over. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. It doesn't. And friends, God decided to send a flood to wash the whole world clean, to start over. But one man hadn't forgotten about God. One man was actually trying very, very hard to follow him, and his name was Noah. Oh, oh, I remember that part. God noticed that Noah was trying really hard to follow him and decided to save Noah. That's right. God told Noah that he was going to send a flood and told him how to stay safe. God said, I want you to build an ark so you, your family, and all the animals can stay safe. Then, God gave special instructions to Noah. He said the ark was going to be longer than a football field and taller than your house, explorers. Isn't that crazy? So, God also told God sure made a lot of big promises to Noah. He sure did. God promised that he would send a flood. God promised that he would keep Noah and his family safe. And God promised that he wouldn't send a flood until the ark was built. Friends, that's a lot of promises. Do you think God kept all of those promises? Well, we are learning that God is in control and that he is faithful to his followers. So, even though we probably couldn't make and keep all of those promises, I think that God can, 
Something big happened next. I just can't remember what. Well, next, Elliot, it rained. And rained and rained for 40 days and 40 nights. That would be like if it rained from right now until just before Halloween. That's a really long time. And it rained so much that the whole world looked like one giant ocean. The water was even taller than the mountain tops. And Noah and his family were safe inside the ark. They had to stay in there for a really long time. God told the waters to go away so that they could all come out of the ark. Wow. God did what he said he would do. He sent a flood and he, um, oh, he kept Noah and his family safe. This is such a great story. God did what he said he was going to do. He was uh, faithful. Yes, he was faithful. I got to go tell my friends about this story before I forget it. Bye. Okay, friends, next we're going to sing a song that's all about God's promises and Him keeping them all throughout the Bible. 